SBS TV. Join us for more in this Olympic year. Welcome to the 2015 VIS Awards of Excellence, where we recognise and celebrate some of Australia's best athletes and their performances on the world stage this year. Derek, tell us how the preparations are going for the track and field guys and ultimately, you know, Rio's coming up and, and what do you have in store for everyone? Well, our season kicks off at the end of January um, and then it culminates with um, national championships in early April. So obviously the guys are really keen to put their Olympic qualifiers down early so they can really start planning for Rio. So um, it's really just around the corner. In terms of rowing physique, would I get, get a go in the boat? Well, we have a special role for you, actually. You sit down the other end of the boat, just take a hold of the strings and steer, and you get to boss them around and tell them what to do. Are you good at that? I'm fantastic at bossing people around. Do you have any advice for someone that, you know, is going to make the team or, you know, the first-timers? Yeah, look, it's, it's interesting. The Olympic experience is a holistic one, and it really is, yes, every athlete is going there to do their best, to do a personal best hopefully and if that's good enough to get on the podium and a gold medal that's absolutely fantastic. All we can ask of any athlete is to do their best, to prepare their best, to leave absolutely no stone unturned physically, mentally, emotionally in the next eight or nine months and to go to the Olympic Games with an open mind to experience the whole Olympic experience on and off the track. The Olympics is a very special event. What are you looking forward to? What sports really you know, stand out for you? Look, the athletics are, are extremely important and it, uh, it's a driver of, of, I suppose, the Olympics. But also in the pool, I think if we're successful in the pool, then we're doing okay in terms of the medal tally. So, uh, and all of the sports associated are so important, all of them collectively. How did it feel to walk into the room tonight, see a lot of new faces and some old ones? Uh, I'm excited to be here. I'm a little bit nervous because you know, I'm, I'm being uh, bestowed with a pretty amazing award tonight, which I'm totally blown away about. Um, whereas in my mind, I'm super keen to see the, the current crop of talent um, that the VIS are helping to, to, you know, hold so that they get the best out of themselves. Please to announce that the award goes to Amanda Reynolds. I'm speechless. <laughs> I really am. Uh, it's awesome. <laughs> the uh, award for the William Angus Institute Personal Excellence Award goes to Rachel Leach. I'm very proud of my daughter every day, um, and I'm just honoured to be here tonight to accept this on her behalf. She's a beautiful girl in every way. Both of you were Deputy Chef Divisions in 2012, so tell me about the learnings of being the Deputy Chef Division in London and taking that into Rio. Okay, I'll let you start. Yeah, great. No, it was a fantastic experience for me to be Deputy in London. I guess the one thing I took away from that, uh, well, I took many things away, but one thing to mention, I guess, is making sure that the athletes are not aware of any of the kinks that are going on behind the scenes. And what I thought was really important as a lesson from London was to have touch points with the athletes in the intervening years, which is what we've done through our Ignite the Dream series. And the second component of that starts next week, the Aspire series, where we're meeting all our prospective Olympians on the long list and explaining to them what it means to be an Olympian and to try and create that feeling of one team. I'm delighted to announce that the recipient of the Frank Pike Achievement Award for 2015 is Catherine Freeman. I was with the VIS from 96 through to 2003. So it was for a few years, long enough to feel quite at home um, and to ride through the highs and the lows of my running career. And it is really lovely to be here again, you know, um, seeing Bernadette and seeing Paul, a few old, old mates in the room. I feel like family. I feel like I want to kick my shoes off. I'd rather be bad for it. Um, um, but yeah, I'll always have a special place in my heart for the VIS, especially um, you know, with the wonderful memory of Dr. Frank Pike. It's my great pleasure to announce that the winner of the 2015 Award of Excellence is Dylan Alcott. Ladies and gentlemen, 
another function's going on this evening that this man can't be at, but he is the winner of the Victorian Institute of Sport for Excellence in Sport. Congratulations, Dylan. Thank you. You've become a, 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 a real star of supporting and, and focusing on uh, athletes with disabilities and second time that uh, an athlete with a disability has won this but you don't think it, uh, about disabilities like that do you? I mean of course it's an honour to win the athlete with a disability but I mean we're elite athletes for me, first and foremost who just happen to have a disability and to be nominated and recognised in elite sporting categories whether you're able-bodied or you're disabled whether you're male or female whatever it is it's, it's amazing for us and, you know we want to be treated like like those able-bodied athletes because we train just as much and to be to get honoured with this award of excellence, it's humbling and absolutely incredible. So thank you everybody. Maddie, congratulations on your award tonight. Tell us how going through an injury like that really affects you mentally. Um, a lot at times. Um, I think, as I said, you, you when you get injured, you go, oh, okay, I know this is a process ahead, but until you actually go through it, Sometimes I don't think you can mentally prepare yourself for it. Um, it has been challenging, but I think what I've learned is a bad day is just a bad day and there's always tomorrow. So we get up and we train hard. Um, and I've been very fortunate that I haven't really had any setbacks. So um, it's been pretty smooth sailing. You're unstoppable at the moment. Tell us a little bit about how you're feeling with winning the award and what's next. I am really honored to win it, like twice in a row. I didn't expect that, didn't expect that would happen. Uh, it's, it's a pretty competitive one, you know, like there's so many really good juniors uh, coming through the ranks, not even in just cycling that I know of, but uh, in all sports. And uh, obviously I'm not eligible for the award next year, you know, I'm too old, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping to maybe some medals in Rio, if that's possible. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you for joining us at the 2015 VIS Award of Excellence Night. Be sure to tune in for further content as we take you on the Road to Rio series where bigger and better things will be happening in 2016. VIS TV. Join us for more in this Olympic year.